Hey guys, Crunchy here and welcome to another RuneScape 3 money making guide. So this method is going to be basically probably already known if I'm honest, however prices do change every single day and at the moment this is a pretty profitable guide so what we're going to be doing and what I'm going to be showing you guys is making headless arrows. All you need to do this is as many feathers or arrow shafts as you like. Obviously the more you buy the more profit you're going to get back and there is no fletcher requirement to do this so obviously anyone can do it which is really awesome. Of course you can just make the arrow shaft yourself from scratch with normal logs to make some more money. However let's just say for this example that we buy them. For this video I've decided to get 1000 of each just to test out how long it took and how much profit was made in that time. So as you can see the total cost at the moment for the feathers and arrows is 37k so let's see how much we make back from this. Alright, so the 1000 headless arrows have been made, each action only takes 10 seconds of your time and of course you can get your next set ready like I did in the video if you probably saw, you can like click prepared so you don't lose any time clicking and stuff like that. So if we divide 1000 by 150 because that's how many you make per time, you get a 6.6, so that's a minute and 6 seconds to do all 1000. Now if we sell the headless arrows you can see they're selling for 52k which is the mid price so in that short amount of time we've already made 15k and after doing all the calculations this works out to be around 700 90 to about 830k per hour so it's a pretty nice guide pretty nice amount of money for basically no requirements at all i'm pretty sure you need membership though for fletching but they didn't say that on the requirements but i'm pretty sure that's on there a couple of ways to increase the amount of profit you make could include crafting the arrow shafts like we mentioned before yourself and save yourself some money in the end however this will increase the amount of time it takes for the whole method as a total but it will most likely gain you some extra couple of hundred k at the end but of course if you do decide to do that it's completely your choice and also you could sell the shaft for slightly higher in the grand exchange as opposed to what I did in the video. I only did this to see what the average price was going for at the moment, however like I said sell them for a bit higher if you want to, they most likely won't go through straight away but I'm sure if you leave them in overnight or something like that I'm sure they'll sell through by the time you log back in. So that concludes today's video guys, I hope you have all enjoyed it, it means so much that you watched this video and obviously a thumbs up will also be appreciated greatly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it's free and it will pretty much just keep you up to date with all my new videos and stuff like that so make sure you do that if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.